Roy's the boy. I'm excited to see... Roy is also... Not, Bowser Jr. is also a very technical character. The, the stuff you can do with down B and neutral B is like crazy. And just the yeah. stuff you can pull up, the setups that you have, setups that you have, mm -hmm. are amazing. And I'm excited to see what this, what NY Kova has to say. Yeah. Below is doing, um, Blego got his, like, um, the stuffed out with the cannonball, which is really interesting. I mm -hmm. think right now he just has to, like, understand a little bit of, like, okay, the most useful in this matchup, and, like, just getting a more comfortable with, um, the projectiles that Bowser Jr. has to use in, in response to that. Getting the nice teleport cancel onto the uh, onto the PSD platform just to mix up his landing a little bit. So far, this this fight seems pretty even. Mm -hmm. Right now, holding the stage. This is the most difficult part. Trying to get back onto stage against the Zelda with you know Phantom on deck and, and Nyla's love, especially it's covering so many options at once. Back. Goes off stage, tries to counter, but he picks up the. Oh my God! Doesn't kill, but this could be the end. It is yes. Not. No, not quite yet. No. Well, well, backed off a little bit, but what? He uh, just, he just said that's it. You can have my stuff. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now he said, you know what? I've lived long enough. You can have my stuff. <laughs> I really like the way that Balogo treated that edge going to know that, but uh, he could have just been a little bit more careful not to overcommit. There were definitely like a couple of opportunities that NY Cobra could have capitalized on to hastily get back on. Balogo super smart to be reflecting those cannonballs, but releasing his shield just a little bit too early. You have to be careful of that. You have to just be ready and be knowledgeable about all multi hits when you're shielding them so that you don't preemptively let them go. Think about that forward smash. Is that it's bad and at the same time. It's bad because it has such a long animation and it stays out for so long. It's also really good because the ending lag is really... I mean, yeah, the ending lag is basically negligible on the move and it's very difficult for just about anybody to contest it. Yeah. But something I'm seeing for Kova offstage, he's kind of like walking off and not really committing to any move. Yeah, you see like below, like sitting in shield, he's completely on right now. He's it looks like he's uncomfortable with the timing of the Mecha Koopa. Um but now like just starting to get like a little bit more of a feel for it. And and it's like NY Cobra right now it seems to be the aggressive in the set. I really like that up here used to shark the uh the F smash. Yeah. That that the hitbox on up here goes out. Massive. I really like that, just like shielding there and forcing NY Cobra to shield as well because that uh, Mecha Cobra is going to trade with the Uchiha. Really similar to how like Mega Man would employ Crash Bomber. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bolero definitely like, he is like not the aggressive in the set, right? NY Cobra is the one that's yeah. constantly he, trying to push he space. He got the setup. He got the shield break. What, what, what's going on? The fact that he did a down tilt terrified me. If he was facing the other direction, he would have saved Bolero. <laughs> All for nothing. All for not. Does not clash enough to stop that. Thing. It does get up there combos. Yeah, those up there links. Definitely like a Bowser Jr. staple. Uh, his bread and butter, where he's going to get like the most of his uh, damage in the early game. Below trying to get the preemptive uh, spike into into the Phantom Confirm, but actually missing it. And Mykova able to get back onto stage. Um, this game is actually starting to slip away from Below despite his lead. Nice option coverage using the dash attack as well. Like prepared himself to be able to cover the goal. But I can't help but suspect that he might have been able to uh, get something with a little bit more damage output. Phantom goes down. This so far is. We're seeing a lot of good. Ooh! Yep. Spin out takes it. Another so, thing about. Oops. Um, setup. Because you saw that shield break setup. That was, like, crazy. That's. If you if you don't see it coming, it's gonna break your shield. There's no getting around it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's. It's crazy. Hello, trying to get the up tilt into me, but uh, a couple of 
the Ascent 2 really doesn't have enough knockback on, uh, on the up tilt quite yet. He might have been able to string another up tilt into itself though, at that percent. But now able to connect it. Uh, right now he's holding, able to get a down throw into Lightning Kick. Uh, and Mykova having a little bit of suboptimal DI there. Yeah. Ah, Glyrd actually not committing to the teleport kill. Um, I don't think he expected his uh, religious reactors to hmm. Really, really nice hmm. uh, uh, tomahawk grab there, just like catching in Mykova's, um, you know, over over commitment to the shield there. He got maybe a little bit scared and phantom. Yeah. Ooh, he gets that set up there. Wow, really nice Nihilus love there. It, like, shield pokes if you're able to, like, uh, do it so close up in somebody's face. That's like a really nice call out. They have to tilt their shield. They can't, they can't just hold shield. Yeah. No punish on that with F Smash though. Valero just like taking the opportunity to set up Phantom right now. Uh, and Mykova just dropping stage control. No. And Valero. Oh, oh. <laughs> Okay. I don't know what Valero was going for there. <laughs> okay, just out of shield lightning kick. <laughs> I don't know why he just decides to teleport it off stage. I have no clue why. <laughs> Maybe he was expecting to get a teleport cancel, but it's so fortunate that he planned ahead and had and had the back of Koopa in hand. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, he's gonna get up against the F smash. Has to be really, really careful with that. That's what Bowser Jr. That's basically the only thing Bowser Jr. is looking for that ledge, right? Trying yeah. to get that F smash, because it'll kill you like 70 plus. Well, is doing a really great job of controlling the space right now, making NY Kova's uh, Mecha Koopa like, work to his disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Really smart to hold shield there, trying to get the lightning kick out of shield, but uh, it has a little bit too much shield Ooh. stun and too much yeah. shield pushback. Did you see how many yeah. different hits Bolero's shield just took there? He has to be careful because if not, he's gonna have his shield broken again. The cannonball actually interacting, the reflected cannonball interacting with the Mecha Koopa. This is a carnival <laughs> character. I swear to God, there's so many like wacky interactions. Oh, actually, it's there for the Mecha Koopa. Okay. Ah, Malaya. Run for the shield break. He has to like maybe like be a little bit less afraid to try to throw out an option when he's getting back onto stage. We saw him like sitting in shield and Mykova unable to get back onto stage successfully quite yet. Bolero is doing a really great job of just like boxing out with the Phantom. That's going to be the lead grab, but Bolero missing his teleport, this time thinking it actually connected. Oh, uh, the multi-jab will kill on Smash Absolutely. Bolero has to find a way to close out the stock right now. This is going to be looking like a 2-0 for NY Kova. And that up be unfortunately sour spot. Ooh. Like again, I see I see Bolero like giving up so much stage control. Like uh and my Koopa threw out that Magic Koopa and he immediately retreated to the court and granted that's really really good pressure on NY Kova's part. And I really like the way that NY Kova's getting back to stage. Like he drops down and then up he's and does a neutral air dodge with the, uh, you know, the Bowser Jr. out of the Mecha Koopa yeah. and uses an aerial to cross up Bolero. That's like the fourth time in a row that Bolero's gotten hit by that. Mm -hmm. So definitely, I feel like that's not even a habit for NY Koopa, just more like him noticing, okay, Bolero's getting hit by this a lot. I can get away with doing this a bunch. Yeah. I just almost getting hit. This is Bolero's stock to take right now, but again, the cross up um, the back from the Bowser Jr. This could be anyone's game, though. I think I'm seeing Bolero shielding the Mecha Koopas a lot. Just, like, mm -hmm. I think just to disarm them and get them into his. Uh... Oh, 
Let's get that forward smash and neutral just to try and do it all out. Right now, blow land a little bit safely. The Mecha Koopa commands so much stage, and the explosion actually going to be harming the both of them. Oh! Mecha Koopa gets through. The Lego has to be careful not to be too antsy in getting back to stage. Really smart to use his jump instead of neutral get up and you know, I can get a Bowser Jr. Frequently looks to smash for something along those lines. Oh! oh the up Despite being at 158% NY Cobra just barely clutches that one out. 